Drake drops three more. Three more songs. I'm sitting here, don't know if it's real. Got my kids for the daddy weekend. I'm about to chill. Drake, why you keep dropping stuff when, when I got my kids? You doing this because you know when I make a video about you, I'm going to tell the truth and break it down and no way nobody else can. Drake, out of the three songs we're going to talk about, I'll probably mention the other two at the end. And all you people who think I'm hating on Drake, I'm actually going to say something good about the song in the end. But the song we're going to talk about is called No Face. No Face. Fuck a body with that shit, bro. No Face. No, you're going to make a song called No Face. After people talked about how old your face looked at the old white party with Mike Root. Let's start at the top. And before we get into any lyrics, I'm like, yo, Drake is so desperate, so desperate to get out of the spot Kendrick Lamar put him in. He actually went back to his flow over 12 years ago on HYFR. Hell yeah, fucking right. Tell me I'm wrong, because I just did it before I, I just hit record. Play Drake's verse, and hell yeah, fucking right, after the fourth bar, and then play this song. He went back. Drake know his albums are so trash, he had to adopt a flow from over a decade ago. <laughs> Let's get into these lyrics, because somewhere in my title should be loser lyrics. Lo these are loser lyrics. Now, when I tell y'all these are loser lyrics, I don't mean that Drake is a loser. I think he got some stuff that I wouldn't let him babysit my daughter. But I'm saying, when I say loser lyrics, what I mean is these are the things you say when you lose a battle. I know that Drake know he lost a battle, so this is going for you stubborn Drake fans who refuse to believe the truth. You're waiting for your boy to come back and drop a number one hit, to have a hot selling record, to have a song that's charting on the top, so you can say that he won. That has nothing to do with a battle, and I, I actually think that Drake is going to have hot songs that's coming out. I honestly do, because that's what he's done on his trashiest albums. For the Dogs, trash. Uh, Certified Level Boy, trash. Both those albums had club hits inside. That's how it keeps him going. So if Drake make enough songs, he's going to have a great song, which is what he's doing now because let's look at this. Let's really look at this. The song with the racist girl, Daiwan Delilah. Um, the, the three songs off the 100 gigs and the three songs we just got now. That's eight songs after the Kendrick thing. Drake is throwing everything against the wall, including his flow from over 10 years ago, to see what'll stick. Something eventually gonna stick. I think the Cicada song I just heard, probably gonna stick, because we live in a world that the biggest audience you can have on your side are losers. The kind of guys that be following the red pill and all this stuff, because they don't know how to get girls that live in their mom's basement or whatever. So, you know, you listen to the lyrics on the Circadian song, matches those kind of people. I said when I heard that song, I can I can I can picture Kaiser not playing that for his stuff and doing a little dance and the people like it. I think people gonna like that song. But we are here to talk about no face. No face. Let's go to the beginning lyrics to show y'all these are loser lyrics. These are these are not the things people say who win a battle against somebody else. When you win a battle against somebody else, you are in a celebratory stage. Everything is great. Life is great. You're bragging. You're not making songs talking about you talking to your fucking shrink. Where's the lie? Where have I lied? You don't make a song talking about what you tell your shrink. And I'm, I'm going to wait till we get to that lyric. But let's start from the beginning. This is the shit that my daddy had raised me on. Your dad that Kendra Lamar said didn't raise you. You want to throw that? You want to start it off? You want to put your dad back in the right place since your dad lost your suitcase and showed the world that you're the one who really get no zippy when you said Rick Rock. The next line. Niggas got lit off the features I skated on. I'm going to hold that because I think he's going to say something else about the niggas who he feel like turn on him. I want to put it all in one spot. But let's go to the big line I know everybody's going to talk about from this song. The big line from the song is, how you get lit off the nigga you hate on. And allow me to retort because so many of you losers think that this line is hot. But this is only something a loser would say. Drake, when you make a diss record against somebody, and you are purposely choosing a beat that's going to be playing on the radio and playing in the club. That means that your goal is that you are trying to get lit. You're trying to get lit off the nigga you hate on. So you 
had the goal to get lit off Kendrick, off hating on Kendrick, but your goal didn't work. Kendrick made a song about you. It's like, you want him to make a, a song about you that's mediocre? No. A nigga make a song about you, he trying to make the biggest hit ever. Of course, everybody. If I'm in the beef, I'm trying to get lit off the nigga I'm hating on. You know how I know this? Because your ass got lit off hating on Meek Mill. You got lit, didn't you? Did you not have back-to-back -back clubs on? Wasn't black back-to-back -back play everywhere? Then back-to-back -back get nominated for a Grammy? Did you not go perform back-to-back -back on stage with different kind of memes and all this shit picking on Meek Mill during the time? You got lit off the nigga you hating on. These are loser lyrics. Loser. I heard this shit and like, these niggas gonna rock with it because they young. I know they gonna rock with it because they don't want to hear the truth. No person that wins, how you get lit off the, why is he lit? If you beat him, why is he lit, Drake? He lit because he whooped your motherfucking ass. Jesus. Numbers untouchable, they got the data wrong. We're going to skip that because we already know you, you You tried to call him out by having bots and then Spotify came back and told you shit ain't true. The moment they been praying on, trying to knock the ball, but fucking I'm staying on. Oh, keep sending me slaps to go crazy on for keep saying it's time to be patient. So many people we turn in the tables on. You say so many people we turn in the tables on. I think you go back again and you're going to mention something else about how you, I find the line where it's like we should be worried about the plans you have. There's a problem with us worrying about the plans that you have, Drake. And that is you set it up perfectly to say you got this noop that's going to kill somebody. And it was a dud. It was a dud that went on his ass. So in your brain, you what your brain computes as something people should fear people should not fear so if that if that if you thought that family matters was the end or be all to to obliterate kendrick lamar and it did nothing no one should be fearing what you got planned no one Fuck. <laughs> capo got plans but we say that for later all right hush i know they say uh hush Keep saying they know that we played it wrong. You did play it wrong. You you played it absolutely wrong. KD just takes, yeah, you want to mention KD, what we waiting for. Get these people on your facade, even though you made a song called No Friends, even though in this song you talk about how uh, you thought people were cool with you. And here you go doing it again. All right. I want to get to this part right here. No face, no face, no face. Fuck all that. I don't get sleepy off no melatonin. My therapist put a 30-day notice because I keep on talking about beefing and business and money and women. Drake. Not Drake. Drake fans. Why is it the nigga y'all think won is going to his therapist to talk about the beef? Kendrick Lamar went to a therapist prior to the beef to get his life right and perfect to obliterate a nigga and now he chilling with his family. Why is a nigga in therapy talking about the beef he just had with another rap artist if he won explain that to me somebody in the comment section why is drake in therapy talking about kendrick lamar he not only talking about kendrick lamar he said because i keep he said my therapist put a 30-day notice because i keep on talking about beefing and business and money and women kendrick lamar put you down about money with your gambling addiction kendrick lamar called you a 69 god and said your problem with women he even said this directly to your mom. <laughs> These are loser lyrics. You don't say stuff like this unless you're down and out and you feel the world is against you. These are loser lyrics. Now, as far as tempo and beat, told y'all I say something nice. The song sounds straight. It sounds straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, but before a nigga, a nigga to be talking about no face, no face. And they putting his old ass face up, looking like a beige raisin, <laughs> looking like a <laughs> like a sand cookie. <laughs> you, no, I think like an oatmeal pie. You know what I'm saying? Eye down. The, is that a tattoo, Drake? What is, is that a tattoo? What is the thing right there? What is is that a little a little dot dash a dot? <sighs> Loser lyrics. As a regular song, cool. Sound it don't, it don't sound bad to me. It don't, it don't sound bad. It sounds straight. But I'm not of your generation. And I'll close my video out saying this right here. I know I'm not. Hip hop is for all ages, but the nucleus of hip hop gonna always be like late teens and, and twenties. Those gonna be the big people. I feel like 
I feel like for y'all, it, it, that age, you are always constantly looking for stuff because your brain is trained to look for the next big thing on social media. So you guys will forever love subliminals. Uh, a nigga like me, from, from my part, I like subliminals leading up to a war. It helps build a war. When the war happened, I don't respect subliminals that come afterwards. I don't. And, I, and Kendrick gonna drop. Kendrick gonna have an album coming out. I don't, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna see me coming here praising the the, the 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 subliminal lines he's saying about Drake. They built it up. They battled Kendrick won. From this, no one is very rare that your career is all over with. Maybe a Ja Rule, but like Nas, what you guys are experiencing is what my generation experienced with Jay-Z and Nas. Nas wiped the floor with him. You didn't hear from Jay-Z from a year. He came back. He made another album. He made number one hits. You don't die. Drake will have hits. Drake will have good songs. He will. It just, you, Drake always makes good music. He's making lesser percentage of good music out of most he's putting out, but he's going to have a nugget in there. So yes, he's going to make good music. Him making good music is an indicative of the war that they had. The war that they had consisted of the songs that Drake made against Kendrick and Kendrick made against Drake. Kendrick with a supreme plan, supreme breakdown of the man Aubrey Graham and another separate supreme breakdown of the artist Drake. Kendrick wiped the floor with him. We move on from here. Looking forward to hearing some music from Drake in the future, hearing some music from Kendrick Lamar in the future. Until then, no face, no face.